Okay, so here's where we're at, people. Um, I haven't done anything, just got all this set up. This is the view you guys are going to have. Okay. Um, let me show you what I'm, I'm thinking about doing, because I talked about grinding this point on the leg. I don't think I'm going to do that. The reason why is because we have this air pressure relief valve down here. Um, I'm going to try to ground to that. If it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, then I'll grind this area of the foot and clamp it here. Um, again, I'm not going to I'm not going to remove any of this paint at all. I'm going to use the on my Everlast Power Plasma 50. Um, it's got Pilot Arc. It'll blow right through that paint and just keep on going. Um, I've got a little bit tricky area because I'm going to try to cut and use that weld as a guide, but right here next to the tires it's going to get real tight, so hopefully that doesn't turn into a mess. Um, I don't think it will. Um, but that's what we're getting ready to do. So I'm going to put you guys on the tripod. Just I wanted to explain that ground situation to you guys, just in case you see me messing around here or you don't see me drying this area out. Now you know why. But let's get this done. Gloves on, get my plasma, goggles. It's very cold in here right now, you guys. I don't know what temperature it is outside, but this morning it was negative 11 degrees with a wind chill that brought it down to negative uh, 27 degrees. Um, quick, quick note, you guys are using a plasma cutter. I know some of you guys out there are adamant about using a a welding helmet to cut with. Um, you can go to your local welding supplier and get some of these goggles. I think they're shade five, if I remember correctly. Um, just ask them for plasma goggles. This is more than sufficient. I've been using, I use my plasma cutter more than I can even begin to try to explain to you guys. I've always used these and I've never had a problem with getting my eyes flashed or anything like that. So. It's up to you, everybody's eyes and work are different from the others, but these are like $20, so they work for me. So let me get this machine turned on, I got the air hooked up. Oh, by the way, I'm supplying my plasma cutter with air via my California Air Tools. It's a 4620A, the A stands for aluminum, all the tanks are aluminum. It's very quiet, you'll hear it kick on. We'll just let you guys see for yourself. If you guys are interested in either one of those machines, I'll put the links in the description where you can find them on Amazon. So let's get this done.
So, cut's not perfectly straight, but it's close enough. Um, there we go. Interesting. I just learned something. Very, very interesting, and that's actually going to come in handy. Okay. Hopefully, I can salvage that. Let me show you what I'm what I'm looking at. That might change our rocket stove design a little bit here. Let me get my gloves off so I can show you guys this. And bear with me. I'm actually going to put them back on because I forgot I don't need to touch any of my buttons on the touch screen. Um, the design of this tank is interesting to me. I didn't realize it was like this. There's actually a flange. Um, let me get out of the, the light here. You see that? There's actually a flange there. You can see where my cut is, was down here where the red ends, and there's a flange there, which I cut all the way through, but fortunately there was a few areas where the slag um, is still kind of holding on to it, and you saw where the sparks were kind of coming out where I wasn't traveling at a consistent rate of speed, so um, there's a few areas that are still kind of stuck on there. That might be for the better. I've got to think about this for a little bit. But ultimately, what that might end up being is this nice flange that I could reuse. Um, let me think about this real quick, because I was going to build a, a flange to attach this tank back onto this, but I was going to cover this with a plate. So I may, in fact, break this flange off and just reuse this. This might actually be something that I can reuse again. Um, put the plate down and then weld this flange to the plate because this will be filled with vermiculite. Um, weld the plate to the bottom after it's filled with vermiculite. Then weld this flange back on top of that plate. I think that's what I might do. That actually will come in real handy. So anyways, an, accident, an accidental discovery. Um, that, might be, that might be helpful for you guys um, when you build yours. Um, Keep that into consideration, which means it might actually be better for you to cut right on the weld seam versus I, I did it a little bit above the weld seam. Um, but I think there's enough flange there that I could still use it and not have an issue. So anyway, that'll be another video. Um, following this one up pretty pretty shortly, you know, pretty soon. So. Look out for that. Um, that's it for now. Like I said, if you guys are at all interested in the Everlast Power Plasma 50 or the California Air Tools Air Compressor, you heard it's really, really quiet. I have not adjusted the audio at all. Um, this thing is not overbearing whatsoever. It's, it's actually quite shocking to a lot of people when they actually hear it run. It's pretty powerful. Um, let me show you the, it's dirty right now, but here's the specs, two horsepower. 4.6 gallon twin tank, 7 CFM at 40 PSI, and um, 5.3 CFM at 90 PSI. I'm actually even able to paint with this thing, not just run my, my, my Power Plasma 50, but I'm actually able to paint with it. These guys actually sell a, a paint gun kit where you get the gravity feed and the siphon feed gun. Um, it's made by the same company. Uh, look at their website, CaliforniaAirTools.com. Um, these are low volume, low pressure, not high volume, low pressure, low volume, low pressure. But I'm actually even able to paint with this thing, so I've been pretty happy with it. Um, no issues with it at all. So anyway, that's it. Enough of me selling stuff to you guys. But And by the way, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by them. But if you guys are interested in those tools, the links will be in the description. If you purchase through Amazon, it does actually help me out too. So. Um, 
that's it for now. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like. Um, check out our website, alvarezmetalworks.com. Um, that link will be in the description as well. Um, a link to our Twitter page will be in the description. Follow us on Twitter if you do. I'm a big fan of mixed martial arts. So a lot of my activity on Twitter is kind of... Targeted, targeted towards communicating with people in that industry, but I also post my videos there as well when they're ready. Um, like us on Facebook. I'm very active on Facebook. Always there. So, um, got any questions, leave it below. Any suggestions, whatever you have, um, leave it below. I'll, I'll get back with you in short order. So, talk to you guys later. As I bump the camera, I forget that my gloves are on. <laughs>